All right, Orioles fans and their pups are heading to Camden Yards tonight for their O's second bark at the park event. Our puppy with a purpose, Camden, and her brother Sonny are taking part in all this. And our Mindy Becerra is throwing out the first pitch tonight. Mindy and Jason are alive at Camden Yards. And we understand you guys have a couple of special guests with you. That's right. A lot of times people ask us about service dogs and who they help. Well, we have somebody here who's a great example of that. This is Chad Altheiser, a retired Marine, and his service dog, Mikey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. And you've had Mikey for two years now. So tell me about what that means to you, what Mikey means to you. Um, he means a lot, obviously. Um, it was about two years ago that I got him. I was on a waiting list for like a year and a half. But um, honestly, it's when you don't feel like you deserve, um, you fail to take care of yourself. But having a service dog and the opportunity and the responsibility to take care of him is a really interesting way to sort of indirectly start taking care of yourself again and start believing that, you know, you do deserve good things and, and wellness. W was it tough to understand how much this dog could do for you when it said, this might be a good fit for you? Did, was it tough to buy into that? A little bit, only because I don't have a mobility issue. I didn't sustain a physical injury. Um, you know, it was a little bit tough. And there's times now where I just feel like I don't even deserve to have this kind of a resource. It's so amazing. Um, but once you spend time with him and once you realize, like, what it does offer you in a, you know, emotional and uh, mental capacity it's it's amazing but yeah definitely at first it was hard to wrap my head around yeah. it two yeah. tours in iraq one in afghanistan not only do you have a, someone a dog working for you you also have another family member now for you and your kids yeah absolutely um but it's great if if he was a regular dog it would probably be too much um but the fact that he's so well behaved um and he is a service dog that he's Probably one of the best trained dogs, you know, this organization, yeah. the dogs are the best trained. Um, it's It doesn't bring additional stress, you know what I mean? And if it did, that would be really problematic. <laughs> and America's Vet Dogs provides these dogs that are worth $50,000 in their training yeah. to a veteran like yourself. And that's just a remarkable thing. Absolutely. Um, the generosity is like unbelievable. Um, and then the namesakes, you know, often these dogs are sponsored by people who have sacrificed everything, um, this dog included. So it's really, really an interesting way to stay connected with, with the service and the sacrifice that I left. Thank you so much, Chad, for joining us and being much. here thank you. with us today. And thank you, Mikey. Mikey. <laughs> He's a beautiful Thanks. dog. Thank yeah. you Everyone's <laughs> wondering what Camden will end up doing. This will be Camden one day. More from Camden and from Oriole Park.